Hey guys, I learned how to weld today. Um, all the welding on my go-kart was actually done by my dad. Um, he's not very good. <laughs> um, but he taught me how to weld, or tried to. And then his mate um, from over the road, he's a qualified welder, he came over and um, was looking at my practice welds I've done on this thing. And um, you can't really see it with the camera. I'll try to get a good... Like here, all these bubbles. And he was saying I'm actually not welding with gas. So we looked at the welder and found out it's not actually getting gas through. Like the um, gas line was blocked a bit. And uh, so we fixed the welder. It's a SIG weld. Uh, it's a 180 Transmig Brumby. It's a, it's a good welder. Um, it's got no knobs on the wire feed. Although if you put a little flathead screwdriver in you can turn it. We found we had our heat on... Um, too much heat. We had it on like eight, and we should have it on about seven. And for the stuff on my go kart, I said about five or seven. Um, and we had the wire feed way too fast. Um, and then yeah, in the side here, I'll show you what. What's the problem? This is the inside of the welder. It's a really big coil. Um, this little thing here. Can't really see it, but that was way out there. Should be in. And the gas line, which is just there, was like not in properly, and we had to put the hose clamp on. And um, it was, it wasn't getting gas through, which was because at this end, um, oh, gas is still on. Um, it was all blocked in the top there. We had to get all the metal off around there. It was all like, um, yeah, metal. Um, closed is... Okay, it's closed. Alright, um... I'll turn that off in a sec. I'm not sure how to turn it off. But yeah, it was all bubbling here, and we actually had no gas coming through. Well, we had gas, but not enough. So, these are my worlds, which I thought that, you know, I just need a bit more practice to get rid of the bubbles. And then... Here's still my welds. And then just here is where we found out our gas problem and fixed it. You see there's no bubbles. This one I went too quick and then he showed me how to weld properly. Uh, this is my almost, that one I bet went a bit too quick. And then he said I had to slow down, so I slowed down here. And you can see that's a really nice weld there. No bubbles. And this one I just went a bit too quickly. But yeah, um... Now that I've learned how to weld like that, tomorrow, I've got to go now, but I'm going to cut this in half and then weld the two together. So I've learned how to do that, and then I can weld up everything on my go-kart. So all this was actually, that's why it looks like crap, is because it had no gas or not enough gas coming through. So I'll redo all of the welds, especially all these, and then they're sort of like tacked on. They're not weld there and around there and under the bottom. Well, you can't get under the bottom, but yeah, I'll weld everything. Um, when I had it my brother's ute to bring it to the factory, I noticed that all this welding here wasn't done, and on the seat it was um, a bit dodgy. <laughs> so I got to reword that, and then I'll weld. I'll just grind this stuff off here, and then reweld that on, and yeah, just go over everything ba basically, and uh, get it all nice. So yeah, so I've been doing today is practicing my welds. So I'll be a good welder now. <laughs> Alrighty. See you later, guys.